This is daily vlog number 128. Today is my wife's birthday. Now I could take today's vlog and use it to tell you how wonderful my wife is, how much I love her, and how she is the best wife in the whole world. But she wouldn't want me to make a big fuss about it. So instead of going on and on and on for as many hours as YouTube will allow me to post about how awesome a wife she is, I've decided to do something a little different. Something I think she'll appreciate. This is my wife's favorite sweatshirt. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Christy got this before she got me. From a ministry in Camden called Urban Promise, which is an after school program and now a school itself that helps inner city kids learn a lot of great skills and of course learn about Jesus. That's pretty good quality. I mean, it looks brand new. I'll put a link to Urban Promise in the doobly-doo. I highly encourage you to support them or at least to check them out. Inspired by this t-shirt and more so my wife, I decided that this week's Three Minute Theology Thursday will be about praise. The Bible is filled with commands to praise God, telling the people of God at all times to offer up their praise and thanksgiving to God. But why? What is the importance of worship? If you think about it, it may sound a little self-serving for God to make us and bless us and then command us to worship him. It sounds like that friend that likes to do favors for you only so that they'll get praised for it. Is that how God is? Come on, Come on. Praise, praise me. Praise me. Praise Look at how awesome, awesome I am. I am. Praise, Praise me. me! Why won't, Why won't you, you love, love me? me? No. Praise is not something we do to stroke God's fragile ego. Rather, it's something that we do for ourselves. What it does is it centers us on God. It's a tool we use to focus on Him, to take ourselves, in a sense, out of the things going on around us, whether it be the stresses in life or the distractions of life, and to focus our attention entirely on the one who is the source of our life, our hope, and our future. Praise is a way that we connect with God. Because all too often, we disconnect from God because of all of those stresses and distractions and everything else going on in our lives. Praise is a way for us to remember the goodness of God that He's shown to us in the past. It's also a way to remind ourselves of the promises that God has given us for the future. And it's also a way for us to reassure ourselves of his presence with us right now. Does God appreciate our praise? Yes. Does God desire our praise? Yes. But it's because he knows that when we're distracted from him, when we put our attention on all these other things and forget about his presence in our life, we rob ourselves of the power and the joy that comes from going through all that we're going through with him. It's like disconnecting ourselves from our power source. And so God doesn't want us to do that because he knows what struggles we'll have when we disconnect ourselves from him. And so he commands us to worship for our own benefit, not for his. My wife loves to praise God. And that's one of the reasons why I love her so much. Because she has a heart for God. And I have seen his presence through her. And I know some of you who know her know that to be true as well. But as great as my wife is, and for as long as I could talk about how wonderful she is, how beautiful she is, how thoughtful and kind and compassionate, even more deserving of my praise is the God who gave her to me. So I praise God for her. Among many of the other blessings that God has given me, the most important of which was his very son, Jesus Christ. So if things are going tough with you and you're really struggling, instead of sitting there fretting and worrying and obsessing about it, try worshiping. Because worship is the tool that God has given us to lift us out of whatever it is that's pressing down on us and making us feel miserable. It's not easy. But we're no different from the first disciples because they faced so many trials. But when they responded in worship, they felt the presence of God and were able to rejoice even more. So in honor of my wife's birthday, I hope you take a moment to worship God today. This has been daily vlog number 128. 237 to go. Happy birthday, sweetheart.